Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be testing out the Patrick Star MAC Collaboration products. Now I only have two of the many products that are in the collection, but the one that I am most excited to try out is the setting powder because you know your girl has some dry ass skin. So if this works, I will be very impressed. So if you want to know, because you got dry ass skin, or you know you like Patrick Star, or you know you like MAC and you want to buy some products, and you want to see if those products work, then keep on watching. So first things first, I'm going to show you guys exactly what I did get from MAC. Now, um, Gage's mom bought me these two things as a Christmas gift, so I was going to go buy more of the products, but I want to try these out first. I'm sure that I will like the lipstick, but I just wanted to see first before I went and bought anything else. So for now, I just have the setting powder, and I did get, like I said, one of the lipsticks, and I got Patrick Wu. Um, yeah, that's what it's called. So it came with like this little bag and like a sample and all that jazz, but um, I picked this color because I have a lot of the nudes already, like I have a lot of nude lipsticks already, and I like this one because, you know, it's it really is Patrick, like it's Patrick Wu, you know what I mean? Like it's like the most, I think, authentic part of the collab um, is this lipstick. So that's why I went with this one, and then I had to get the setting powder more than anything else because I feel like when people do collabs, it's eyeshadows, lipsticks, um, things like that. You know what I mean? It's a lot of like the, I don't want to say basics, but people don't go and make a setting powder and like, this is my collab with this brand, like this huge brand. So I just thought that was really cool that, you know, he did a setting powder because I never, I could be wrong, but I have, I personally have never seen someone do a setting powder as a collab. So on my face right now, I literally just have foundation and my eyebrows done, of course. But we're going to test this out and I'm going to use concealer and bronzer and all of that jazz on top of it and see how it works because I'm going to set my entire face with this powder. So hopefully it works well because I things to do and people to see. Let's talk about the packaging first. It's really cool because it has his signature on it and then it obviously has Max brand name right there and I like it because it's very holographic as you can see it's oh and then you open it up and then we just have the setting powder and it is pretty cool because the holographic is um, also it, my camera's not gonna focus it but it's also in the label as well so I like that if you've already looked into this collaboration you will know exactly what shade this is like I said you know he had his mama star one and he's like I think the one was you better work I think that was the name maybe I'm getting confused with RuPaul um but I just think this is like the most if I can get it out yeah. there we go I just think this is like the most authentic part of the collaboration you know what I mean because Patrick has the red lips all the time and that is just what this is and then again it has his signature in the holographic print and then you open that bad boy up and it is the bright red I'm gonna test the setting powder before I do anything else and I'm literally gonna use the same kind of products I would use on a regular basis if that makes sense so first I'm going to go under and conceal using my shape tape. I really hope, since I have such dry skin, I really hope that this setting powder works. Um, because, you know, setting powders and myself don't really get along very often. That's why I stick with the RCMA. But I'm really, really excited to see, you know, how this one works. Now, the first thing that I notice that I've noticed like when I was like watching videos about this product is it looks peachy like it doesn't look transparent but it says Patrick's powder set powder so should work I just oh, hate these little holes because it's either things come out so fast or they don't come out at all now I would like to start setting my powder with a damp sponge again but for the sake of doing this like I do every other thing um, 
I'm not gonna I'm not gonna risk that so what I'm gonna do it did not come with um, a little poo for an applicator or anything so I'm just gonna use my little Laura Mercier and I'm just gonna dip in Ooh. okay so it looks kind of it's not gonna focus but it looks kind of pink on this sponge or on the thingy okay so what I'm noticing is my skin in here looks so airbrushed i'm gonna have to touch this area up that i didn't even set i just don't know what the fuck's going on there but in here i'm surprised it doesn't look cakey at all like it literally looks perfect let me throw some concealer on. i don't know what the hell's wrong with my nose right now i'm gonna try and set everything with this the only thing that sucks is like i don't remember exactly how much this cost but I'm one to use not a lot of setting powder, but I set like my entire face with setting powder. You know what I mean? Like I just do. So that's the one perk of loving RCMA because it's $12. Now before my forehead creases, we'll put that on there. <laughs> Guys, my skin literally looks flawless right now. And I'm so surprised because usually setting powders cake on me and I'm noticing even in my nose area it's not breaking up like it's it's just I'm really I'm really surprised um the only place I see a little bit of breakup is like right in here and that's like super normal for me with like any um setting powder you know what I mean like I just always kind of like break up in there but I'm I'm really surprised I don't know what I think it's because I have a cut on my nose that's the only reason like that little thing's happening there and I tapped out this was never full but there was like oh, a decent amount and I tapped it in there twice and I literally set my entire face I usually just with translucent powder will set my forehead under eyes nose and my chin and like smile line area but instead I set my entire face with that and that wasn't a ton of powder that I used compared to like the RCMA and I set my entire face and I look flawless which I'm so surprised I'm so, I'm so surprised about that so the next thing I'm going to try is obviously the lipstick mm, should I line my lips uh no. we're gonna just do it we're gonna just do it if it goes bad we'll try and work it out <laughs> So what I noticed is this just looks like a traditional red. Um, I should have lined my lips if I wanted it to be neater because that was a lot harder to do. Um, like if, if this didn't have the slant to it, which eventually if I'm using it a lot, it won't. Then I'm going to need to start lining, but for now, like it worked. It just looks a little soft because I didn't line and because it's such a bright color. Um, I would say out of both of them, the I would get the powder before I get the lipstick. It feels really creamy. It feels like a MAC lipstick. You know what I mean? It feels, it feels good. Now, I don't know how long the wear would be on it because it's just like a regular lipstick. It's not like a liquid lipstick. It doesn't say anything about long wear. But if you are not, like you don't absolutely need a red lipstick, go with this if you want to get any item in the collection because that is insane so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna bronze my face and see how everything works with the powder all right so my final thoughts on both of these products like I said before this is definitely amazing like this worked so well and I'm so surprised because of how dry my skin is how well this actually worked for me because like I said before setting powders and I do not get along like when I find a good one I stick to a good one and this I'm so so surprised how well my skin looks so this a plus um now with the lipstick like I said before if you just want to get one item 
to kind of have a piece of the collection in your makeup collection this out of all the lipsticks I would go with um which is exactly why I got it because I feel like this is the most Patrick's signature item but if you want a unique part of the collection go with the setting powder and if you have tried any of the other items in the collection like the other lipsticks lip liners or the eyeshadows and you like them let me know what you think down below because I'm not I used to buy a lot of MAC eyeshadows and I realized they're not my favorite formula so if they work for you and you've tried them like from this collection let me know I would love to hear what you guys think of them so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, don't forget to subscribe as well, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.